This is an old Samsung phone, and today I'm seeing what happens when you turn it into a desktop using a feature called Samsung DeX. We're gonna see how far Samsung DeX actually goes in 2026. Now you might be asking, what is Samsung DeX? Well, good question. Samsung DeX is Samsung's desktop mode, and it's been around since 2017. And the idea is pretty simple. When you connect a supported Samsung phone to an external display, Samsung will switch itself into a desktop style interface. Instead of a touchscreen first layout, you get something that looks a lot more like a traditional computer. We'll have operatable windows, a taskbar, and support for keyboard and mouse input. DeX works on most Samsung flagship phones, starting with the Galaxy S8 and newer, along with the Note series and some foldables. It doesn't really require a special dock or anything like that. All you really need is a USB-C cable or a USB-C hub that can output video. It's very simple and easy to use. So without further ado, let's check it out. We're using a Samsung phone with a Samsung monitor, how convenient. And with that all set up, here's what Samsung DeX actually looks like. And would you look at that? Once again, the phone does all the computing, so we can literally just leave the phone here and we can do everything else like normal. Literally just like any other desktop. And now that we're in, we can literally resize windows like on pretty much any other desktop operating system. We can also move around windows. We can also right click and do pretty much everything else you do on a desktop. So that's pretty nice. Samsung DeX doesn't even feel like a blown up phone screen. It actually feels like a full on desktop environment. I mean, we've literally got a file manager here. And just take a look at that. We can also play back media. Just take a listen to that. All of this audio is coming straight from the phone. What a beautiful tune made by Samsung. So now that we're in Samsung DeX, let's just try out a quick web test. Let's go straight into youtube.com and see what we're working with here. So yeah, this is pretty much just a typical web browser. We can do whatever, we can basically do whatever we want in here. So let's go to our channel and let's see if YouTube playback works. And you know what, while we're at it, we'll also try the YouTube application and see how well that works in DeX. But I mean, yeah, playback works perfectly fine. We're currently playing back 1440p 60 video and it's not really stuttering or anything like that. Playback is perfectly fine. Let's check the YouTube app and see how that works. So this is the YouTube application and by the looks of it, it is a little bit uh, kind of like broken. Like you can definitely tell it's just stretching out the default YouTube application. But I mean, yeah, it's still perfectly functional. Like I'm just scrolling through and um, everything is loading in perfectly fine. It's just a bit broken. The user interface clearly wasn't made with um, Samsung DeX in mind. And I mean, yeah, we can pretty much resize it as well and it'll still be perfectly fine. So honestly, not bad. Now that's the full web activity. Let's check out WebGL Aquarium. Let's just try out and see how the WebGL performance is on this thing. Oh, okay, never mind. I mean, by the looks of it, I don't think the web browser supports WebGL. And honestly, I'm not really surprised. The web browser is somewhat still pretty old. If I recall correctly, the last update for this phone was in 2022, which was four years ago. So honestly, so I mean, yeah, honestly, I'm not surprised, but there isn't any WebGL acceleration or anything like that. All right, next we're trying out Discord and as we can clearly see, it is definitely a little broken. For some reason, we're on the old interface, even though this is the latest version of the application straight from the Play Store. And we're on the, I'm on a very old version of the user interface, but um, again, it's still perfectly functional. Like, I guess you can scroll through everything and it will still work perfectly fine. It's just a bit broken. Although by the looks of it, the actual interface is a bit cut off because there's supposed to be an ending here and there's just nothing there. Oh, okay, well, if I full screen it, then it'll come back, but it's very clearly handling it as if it was a tablet. Join the Discord server too, I'll leave that in the description below. But um, yeah, this is just a tablet interface. And I think a lot of applications, like even Reddit, will probably do this. I will basically just resort back to its tablet interface. Alright, let's try out basic productivity on Samsung DeX because this is something that a lot of people do to this day. For example, writing something up in Microsoft Word. Let's try that out. And as we can see, Microsoft Word has no issues with Samsung DeX at all. Okay, I regret saying that. Um, the application does launch, but for some reason I can't create a, a new document for some reason. That is kind of weird. I have no idea why it's doing that. Okay, uh, never mind. I can't open a new document for some reason. Alright, well, let's try out Gmail. And as we can see, we're in a tablet style interface. 
But I mean, yeah, things still work nonetheless. Like, I can open up emails perfectly fine in Gmail. So honestly, yeah, not that bad. Now, one thing I actually did forget to check out was Samsung Dex's own settings. So you can change a bunch of things, like the way you want to, you know, set up the keyboard. You can change the mouse pointer speed and everything like that. There are also wallpapers for Samsung Dex, as we can see. You only really get four, but these are pretty nice looking. But I mean, you can choose whatever wallpaper you want from your gallery either way. You can also choose the screen resolution for Samsung Dex. Unfortunately, I'm maxed out at 1920x1080. I can't choose 2560x1440, but I'm not really using a 1440p panel. I did try this out though on my 1440p monitor and it wouldn't let me choose it either way. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it for these settings. The last thing I want to try is to play a game on Samsung Dex. Should be a pretty easy task, honestly. So, in this case, we're going to try out Minecraft. This is a game that supports mouse and keyboard if you plug it in with Samsung Dex. I have tested it out before and for some reason I can't really, like, full screen the game. Not sure why. I can't even resize the window as well. It just maxes out at this, but let's see how gaming runs on this. And I will be making a follow-up video regarding the Samsung S8 in 2026. So stay tuned for that. And we're in. Now, I'm not sure if it's because I'm using a ball mouse, but for some reason, the camera movement is a bit, like, slippery. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a bit, like, weird feeling. Or this could just be an issue with um, the way it's, like, handling my touch movement with the mouse. It probably is more than likely that, but... Either way, the game still runs perfectly fine to this day on this phone. And I am using my keyboard to move around in the game along with my mouse. But um, yeah, on Samsung Dex, this runs perfectly fine. I'm able to move around and basically just play the game like normal. I can mine and I can also play stuff. So um, yeah, not bad. And you know what, while I'm at it, let's just try out Geometry Dash Lite. I'm honestly kind of curious to see how this game would handle my keyboard and mouse. And as you can see, the game pops up on our desktop. So let's just open it up from there. And let's see if it works. So I mean, the mouse does work, clearly. And hey, we can play like normal. And again, for some reason, we can only play in this windowed mode. I still have no idea why, but I'm playing with my mouse and it runs perfectly fine. Okay, yeah, I can't use the keyboard, but I can use my mouse for this. So with a lot of these touch screen based games, we'll be using the mouse a lot. The mouse works perfectly fine. I mean, honestly, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. All right, I'm just feeling the phone after doing all of that activity and the phone itself isn't really that warm. We're using a Snapdragon chip, we're not using an Exynos chip, so it's not going to be burning your hand at least. But it is warm, but it's perfectly usable still. So this isn't a replacement for a real desktop, and it's obviously not trying to be one. But for what it is, Samsung Dex is surprisingly capable. Browsing, basic work, and even like gaming all from a phone. It's not something most people will ever use, but it's a really good reminder of how powerful phones have become. So I guess that's it. If you liked what you saw, then definitely consider liking the video and subscribing. Feel free to join the Discord server too, I'll leave that in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!